Hola mis amigos, we're making Mississippi Pot Roast. Today's recipe is going to be another pretty simple roast recipe and I actually searched my channel and was surprised to find that I never actually showed you guys how I make this specific roast. Although this is a recipe that I have been using for several years and typically this is a slow cooker recipe but today I am going to show you how to prepare this over the stove and in the oven by way of using this guy here, which is a Dutch oven. Now I find a Dutch oven to be sort of like an old fashioned slow cooker because as you can see, it's just a pot and there are no electric components to it. So it does use the oven's heat to prepare the food. However, what's fantastic about Dutch ovens is that they can be used on the stove and then transferred directly into the oven with the lid and all included. And there are many different materials used to make Dutch ovens. There are, you know, ceramic, porcelain, aluminum, many different ones. And this one here happens to be a cast iron Dutch oven and it is actually ceramic coated as you can see here. So even if after years of use and wear and tear this ceramic coating goes away, we still have cast iron under here. So this Dutch oven is going to be able to be used for many, many years to come. This one happens to be a six quart Dutch oven because as you can see, our beef is pretty large. So we're going to go for the larger one, but I also have here in blue a smaller 4.5, I believe, quart Dutch oven. So four and a half quarts here. And of course it is the same thing, ceramic coated and it is cast iron. So you just wanna make sure that you're working with the correct vessel, the correctly sized vessel for the roast that you are using. So I just wanted to give you some information about Dutch ovens in case you have never used them before. If you're interested in a Dutch oven and you want to know the one that I have, I will have a link in the description box below for you to check it out with some information. These are fantastic devices and they are oven safe for up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So, Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get the meat prepared. Again, this is going to be pretty simple. Here I have a three pound Angus beef chuck roast. And for our seasonings, we're actually going to be using some seasoning packets here. Here I have a one ounce packet of ranch dressing seasoning. And then you're also going to need a one ounce packet of au jus gravy mix. And we are actually going to start this on the stove top in our Dutch oven to get a nice little sear on the meat. So to kind of prepare the meat for a sear, we are going to add probably about a third or so, or maybe half of our seasoning packets to all sides of the beef, just to get it nice and seasoned and ready for that sear in the Dutch oven. So I'm just going to give this a light little sprinkle here and I am going to rub this in thoroughly. But that's just one side to start. Again, we're not using all of our seasoning here. We're just doing enough to coat so that we can sear. Now I'm going to add some of that ranch. And just with my hands, I'm just gonna spread and press this in. And we're going to do this for all sides of the beef. Make sure we get all of that flavor nice and coated so that it sears right in. So I'm going to take care of coating all sides of the meat 
And then we will return to the stove with our Dutch oven so that we can go ahead and start searing this. So we will be back. I have preheated my oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and that will mimic running a slow cooker on the high. So that's going to be to cook for about three to four hours. If you want to cook this a little bit slower, say six to eight hours, then you want to lower your temperature to about 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And here I have the Dutch oven, nice and hot, and I have added a touch of olive oil to that. So now I'm just going to take the roast and we're just gonna add that right in. Now be careful when you add it in. I'm just gonna use my hands here. Make sure you do not disturb it once it's in because we want it to sear up nicely. So let's get that in there now. And that's the sound that we want to hear. So I'm just going to sear this on all sides for about three minutes or so, two to three minutes each, pretty much just until you get the color that you are looking for. And then we will be prepared to add everything else. Here's what we're looking like after a two minute sear on one side. So I just flipped it over. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the sides and get those nice and browned and then we will return. Now that we have all sides nice and seared up, we are prepared to add the rest of our ingredients. So here I am going to start with, I have a half of a red onion that I had left over that I knew that I wasn't going to finish. So I'm just going to throw this in here, but this really isn't a part of the recipe at all. And I'm definitely glad that I opted for my bigger Dutch oven, because as you can see, we are limited on room already. Next, we are going to add some pepperoncinis. You can add this to your taste. Here I have a 16 ounce jar of golden Greek pepperoncinis, I'm trying to get that to focus here. There we are, 16 ounce jar of golden green pepperoncinis. I'm just going to add the whole jar. Now I did go ahead and drain this of its liquid. We don't want the liquid that the pepperoncini is in, but I'm adding all of it because this is one of my favorite parts to this roast and it really lends a wonderful flavor to the entire dish. But again, if this is not to your tastes, you can just add a few of them. So let's just get that all in. And of course, some of the juice may be remaining. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just trying to get this nice and redistributed here. And as far as the vegetables, that's it. Now you can add whatever other vegetables you want. You know that this is going to be cooking nice and slowly. So by the end of it, everything should be nice and tender and ready to go. However, this is a Mississippi pot roast and that's just what it is. It's just pepperoncini and then your seasonings. And next ingredient is your butter. So here I have about four tablespoons, which will be a fourth of a cup or half of a stick of butter. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And last but not least, we are going to add the remainder of our seasoning. So just as a reminder, remember we are using one one ounce packet of au jus gravy mix and one ounce packet of ranch dressing seasoning mix. And we are just going to add that all right in. And this is going to cook in its own juices. Once we've gotten everything in here that we desire, all we need to do next is cover our Dutch oven 
with its lid. And we are going to place this entire thing into the oven for about three hours. Again, I'm at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So you wanna cook it for as long as your temperature is set. You can go down to about 190 if you want to cook this for a little bit longer. But three hours is enough for me. So I will see you then and we will see what we have. We are back and this was in the oven for about three and a half hours. So let's take a look and see what we have. Oh, that looks fantastic and smells just as great. And I'm sure many of you are probably going to be yelling at me in the comments about vegetables. Where's this vegetable? Where are the sides? Well, again, remember this is a Mississippi pot roast, so that is the recipe here. But you can definitely add whatever vegetables you want. We are on a low carb diet around here, so that's why I don't have any potatoes or anything like that in here. But I will probably um, add some okra to my air fryer and serve that as a Side and that will be just great for us but you're more than welcome to enjoy with whatever side or whatever vegetables you like of course you may need to increase the cook time if you do add certain starches to this but I mean this is going to be a slow roast so you shouldn't have any issues with getting those to be nice and tender so at this point, what you can do is go ahead and shred this up and you can enjoy it however you like. Mississippi Pot Roast, enjoy, and I'll see you at the dinner table.